First of all, it helps people, so it makes me feel useful. Um, but secondly, everybody's different. Everyone's life is different, everyone's experience, everyone's personality. So I'm always learning new things. Uh, not just what it's like to be a person with some kind of uh, personality type, but uh, also what it's like if you've been adopted, if you're a twin, if you've grown up with some kind of disability, if you're from a culture that I'm not familiar with, if you have religious beliefs that are new to me. So I'm always learning. It's very hard to generalize. I, I think the most difficult thing is if I find myself not easily liking the person. Uh, and that can cover any number of um, different types of personality. If I think the person is cruel to other people, or if um, I feel that they devalue everything that I say, it's difficult to get into relationship with them. It's very disturbing to me because I easily uh, am fond of people, especially when I hear them in the context of their life story. Um, you can feel warm toward even horrible people if you hear what has happened to them. But there are some people that don't let you in to that knowledge very easily, and you still have to find some way to connect. So I thought about saying um, that I had difficulty, for example, working with people who were very narcissistic or psychopathic, but I can think of some people who are technically in those categories with whom I enjoyed working. Most people I do enjoy working with, but at the beginning, sometimes uh, some people are difficult, and sometimes uh, later in the treatment, um, you can run into um, a kind of impasse that it's hard to get out of, uh, especially at a time when the relationship feels very meaningful to both people. Then you have to work very hard to find a way to resolve that. That's always difficult, probably with everybody, when you hit that, uh, that, what some people call the crunch. Uh, well, it helps to be genuinely uh, and deeply interested in other people, and it helps to have some tendency to like people. Um, that doesn't mean that people who are very introverted uh, are not good therapists. Very often they are. Uh, if they're interested in people, even though they typically take distance from people, they may be a very good therapist because the therapy situation gives them a certain structure that's different from a social situation. But if you're not interested in people, if you don't have a, a deep curiosity about them. Uh, if you love to feel superior to other people and you need to prove how smart you are, that's a bad quality for a therapist. Uh, but gen generally, it would be a combination of um, curiosity and uh, a kind of humility about what you know and an interest in learning from the other person. It's very challenging in the USA nowadays because uh, between the drug companies and the insurance companies uh, and all kinds of organizations that are trying to believe that it's easy to save money on good psychotherapy, therapists are under pressure to do miracles in a very short time. And uh, anyone with common sense knows that the more difficult kinds of problems for which people come to psychotherapy are not easily solved very quickly. There are some wonderful short-term therapies that do um, help people along, but they're not easy uh, for people to 
apply to everyone. Uh, they always have to be adapted to the particular patient. So um, therapists are always fighting to have enough time to make genuine improvements with people. Sometimes you can reduce symptoms quite quickly, but it's not usually symptom reduction that the patient is really interested in. They want to improve their life. They want to be able to love more easily, to work, to play, to um, feel that they have something to offer, to um, manage their feelings, uh, to um, feel more safe. So those things always take some time. Maybe not stereotypes about therapists, but certainly stereotypes about psychoanalysts. Uh, the idea that we make everyone lie down on the couch and then tell them that they're resisting <laughs> is a stereotype I particularly dislike. Uh, all the analysts that I've had um, training with or experience uh, with being close to are very warm people and they don't act like robots with their patients and they never did even in the heyday of uh, classical psychoanalysis. So I don't like being thought of as an arrogant robot. <laughs>